three-week-old Farah is ready for her first tub bath. Hey, tiny face. Bathing your slippery newborn in a tub can be a nerve-wracking task, especially for a first-time parent like Kate. I'm a little worried about how she's going to react. Visiting Kate to share her time-tested tips is Patty Segrist, expert baby bather, mother of four, and nurse administrator at the birth center in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. Set up for the bath anywhere you have a large surface area to work, and set the room temperature to 74 degrees 15 minutes before undressing your baby. It is safe to bathe your newborn in a tub after her umbilical cord stump has fallen off. The key to bathing is keeping your baby warm, and comfortable. This is what she's going to wear after the bath. Okay. Q-tips and cotton, a stack of clean washcloths, a comb, a hooded bath towel is always great. I like to put a small towel in the bottom of the bathtub so that the baby doesn't slip. I used to do this whenever I bathed my own children. Great. Now it's time to fill up the water. And we're going to add the hot water first. Put some cool water now. It's up to you to decide how often to bathe your baby, but you only need to bathe her once or twice a week to keep her clean. Never fill the tub up more than two to three inches or leave your baby alone even for a moment or for a phone call. Make sure the bath water is warm. Aim for 90 degrees or less. Patty recommends testing the water with your elbow since it's more sensitive than the skin on your hands. Feels good. The best way to prevent slipping is to keep one hand around your baby until she can sit up on her own. Now we're going to do her eyes. We'll take a clean cotton. We're going to wash inner to outer. And now we'll take a Q-tip and we'll clean each ear. Mm -hmm. And we're going to clean just the outside of her ears. We don't want to stick a Q-tip into her ear. Try using one washcloth per bath to clean all the little baby parts, starting with the cleanest spot, her face. Washing with soap isn't necessary for newborns. If you decide to use a product, make sure it's mild and tear-free. Would you like to take over and finish the rest of the bath? I'd love to. Arm around the back, and we have to lift this little chin up, make sure we get under there. It's hard to find that neck. Yeah. So you don't take after me, because I don't like water. And then wash her belly. Okay. Now, as babies get a little bit bigger, their legs get bigger, and you have to wash in between the folds. Okay. Okay. Work your way down to her toes, but save cleaning her bottom for last. You can wash her bottom area from front to back. Okay. So that she doesn't get a urinary tract infection. Okay. There you go. And little boys that are circumcised, we don't use soap. The way I like to wash a baby's hair uh -huh. is to take her out of the tub. Okay. Put her on the towel and wrap her up and pick the baby up in a football position and lean her over the tub. Yes, we're gonna wash your hair. So this keeps the water and the soap out of her eyes. Okay. And a little bit of soap. And we'll wet your hair. Oh, I think you're enjoying your first bath. Yeah. After rinsing, use a soft rounded comb to stimulate her scalp. This will prevent <laughs> cradle cap. Yeah, we wanna pat her nice and dry. Her skin is soft and delicate, so you don't wanna rub and get between your fingers and between your toes. Not all babies love their baths as much as Farah. If your baby fights baths or seems easily chilled, keep his baths short, covering him with a warm washcloth, rinsing him often. Here's a tub that has a sling. There are a slew of options for baby tubs available today, and many convert as your baby grows and learns to sit on her own. We have a tub here that has a thermometer on the bottom. Oh, wow. So it can give you the temperature. And it's also a portable tub because it's a blow-up tub. You can always use the kitchen sink, mm -hmm. put a towel on the bottom, hold the baby. And when the baby gets just a little bit bigger, you can take her into the bath with you. Take the plunge. Bath time can be lots of fun.